you guys welcome back to what shall we do next as always I hope you guys are having an awesome day uh, before I get started on this video guys please subscribe if you haven't already we're on the road to 24,000 million subscribers and I would love you guys to become part of the fam so please subscribe if you haven't already done that also follow me on all my social media links are in the description so follow me on everything guys just go do your thing go destroy it so what's going on you guys today today I'm coming back with one of y'all favorites and that is Paranormal America. <laughs> so welcome back guys to another episode of Paranormal America. In this episode, I'm going to be telling you about a real life experience that happened to me one time in 2014, the year. Yeah. So I'm going to try and make this video as creepy as possible. That's why I should start doing it actively. Like, I should put a creepy voice on whenever I do these Paranormal America um, videos. So anyway, guys. One time back in 2014, during the winter, I got sick. And I don't just mean, like, a normal cold or a normal cough. I mean, I got it started that way. But then it got worse and worse and worse and I got some kind of like flu I couldn't get out of bed my head was killing me I had like these migraines that were killing me I've actually told the story before and I only recently remembered it when I saw something on the internet that struck something in my mind I was like I need to tell the new what shall we do next to kids this story so back to the story guys what happened was I got sick it got worse I had a really bad flu I could not even lift my head out of the bed I was just I was done I couldn't eat I couldn't drink I was getting really 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 sick I had never had a migraine in my whole life but for the first time I got a migraine and I hope to God I never get another migraine like that again I could, it, it would come in like episodes. I couldn't, I couldn't see. Like, for, I'd be perfectly fine one minute, and the next thing, I would just go like, hold my head, and I would kind of collapse wherever I was, whatever I was doing. People noticed. I couldn't open my eyes, like, the brightness of any little thing. I actually remember the moonlight was one night, the moonlight actually was hurting my eyes so bad I couldn't open my eyes. So this one day, I felt really, really crappy. I was weak, I was exhausted. I felt horrible. The migraines kept coming back. I couldn't open my eyes. So I decided to take a nap. During taking that nap, I woke up maybe an hour, two hours later. And I woke up to the sound of a girl singing. Literally like you would see in a horror movie, like kind of like Samara Morgan um, it was literally like that I just heard I was frozen in my bed like I remember waking up and it kind of felt dark like I woke up for the reason that number one I was home alone but I woke up because I heard I heard somebody singing and it was no normal singing it was no normal song it wasn't like that guys and this is all the true story I heard a singing in the room in which I was taking a nap I was completely home alone I woke up disorientated like I was all the time because I was sick and waking up to the sound of a little girl's voice singing a song that I still to this day remember and she sang it like Okay, imagine, I'm not going to be able to pull this off, obviously, but imagine a little girl singing this somewhere around you. Like, it's not in your head. At least I didn't think it was in my head. It almost sounded as if, like, I was laying like this, for example, and it was almost as if she was to the foot of my bed, but off to the right, kind of like in that direction, and that's the way the door was in that room. Um, so imagine a little girl singing... I wish I was normal, I wish I was normal, 
and imagine that going on and on and on and then eventually you're like whoa somebody's singing and you wake up to that usually if that was a dream usually you would wake up and it would be over not this time I woke up to the sound of a little girl singing but not only was it not was it was not a dream because if I was dreaming it would have stopped as soon as I opened my eyes I opened my eyes I was staring at the ceiling I couldn't move I literally could not move my body I couldn't even turn my head to look to the direction of which the voice was coming from and even though I opened my eyes I could still hear the singing going on while I was awake I was completely 100% awake I remember waking up because of the singing and the singing carried on for about 10 seconds after I woke up after my eyes woke up I could still hear the singing and I know 10 seconds doesn't sound that long but think of it this way like I wish I was normal I wish I was normal I wish I was normal so like three more times I heard the girl singing but I could not look in that direction I had no control over my body I felt just stiff as a board I could not look to see what was there and it didn't even scare me for some reason I felt so calm I felt so calm until the 10 seconds was up about 10 seconds then I gained control of my body again and I kind of got freaked out when I realized that I was sitting there almost almost being mind controlled by the sound of this little girl singing almost as if it was putting me into like a hypnosis hypno hypnotic state if that's the word that's and it's a true story I'm not even kidding you guys I was laying there and when I realized what I was doing I was kind of under a hypnosis kind of spell by this little voice that I was hearing in my room I realized I snapped out of it and I kind of went <gasps> just as you would and I was really, really sick. So I don't know if it, I was so sick that I was hallucinating. I don't know. Some people I, um, actually told me it could be sleep paralysis, where you have no control over your body and you experience things even though you're awake. Um, and some people just said it, it could have been a ghost waking you up. You could have been asleep with a ghost in your room singing you awake. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I still to this day don't know. That was almost two years ago. Um, and I don't know. And honestly, I'm getting chills right now just remembering what happened. Uh, but there you go, guys. What do you, question of the day, what do you think of that story? What do you think I experienced? Let me know in the comment section because I'm definitely curious to hear all you new newcomers who've come along since then. I'm um, definitely curious to hear what your guys' opinions are. Um, and question of the day to the magic eight ball so you guys let me know in the comment section of the magic eight ball magic eight ball was i experiencing one of those three things that i just mentioned that time back in december 2014 outlook good dun 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 i told you guys i was hearing i was hearing voices almost like i was hearing voices in my head Make it stop. Make it stop. So that's all for now, guys. Um, as you guys know, I've also started this thing where I uh, I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's random fact of the day is that if you chew gum while you're cutting up an onion, you will not cry. There's your random fact of the day, guys, so y'all don't have to go to school anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I'm glad you enjoyed these videos. Hit that thumbs up button to show some support and show that you're here and you exist. And remember to subscribe, guys, if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams, yo.